Hello my name is Aiden and I'm 14 years old. And I wanted to share an experience that I done through a few months ago. If you're not a big fan of scary or disturbing things, I recommend not to read this especially if it's night. Some people might think about the popular 3D platformer, Roblox, is a fun kid-friendly game. But I personally think Roblox is not even a kid's game anymore. Well at least in my opinion. A few months ago, my friends wanted me to play Roblox with them and I'm not really into like colorful kids games, or like blocky type games, I usually just play like action games and shooter games. But since Roblox is sort of popular, I guess I'd give it a shot. So I told them, yeah, I guess. And through that, I made my first Roblox account. It was named, Johnny Old G, yes, it's not that good but I couldn't think of anything better. Sorry if that's brought a laughing factor to my story. As I was saying, me and my friends were gonna play a Roblox game. So then we played a game called Apocalypse Rising, my character looked like a person with very white skin and white hair that reminded me of bacon. I didn't think much of it. When me and my friends joined the game, it seemed fine for a few minutes, but for some dumb reason, there was hackers everywhere, flying cars, teleporters, and so on. Then, I told my friend that this game was getting annoying for me and that I'd leave the call. One of my friends said it was cool, so I left. I thought I'd get some rest after that, given the fact that it was 2am in the morning at that time so I just went to bed. The next day, I wanted to play with my friends but my one wanted me to be active, so I found myself running 25 laps around my house instead of playing with my friends. After I had ran 25 laps, I went inside to relax a bit. Then I got into my PC and tried calling my friends. None of them answered. I thought, maybe they were just tired. Because they were the type of kids that would stay up until 5am in the morning playing video games. So then I remembered, we were playing Roblox last night and I wondered, can I customize my character? So I went to Roblox's website to check. And oh. I was right. There was an avatar editor. So I edited my character and I accidentally clicked on smile which was a face choice in my avatar selection thing. I chuckled at the face a bit thinking it looked funny. I clicked the avatar editor again but it redirected me back to the smile face page but something was odd. The face had a long mouth this time. So then, I tried clicking the avatar editor again. But it redirected me back to the page. But, this time it was a lot more different than last time. It had a bigger and longer mouth and the eyes looked like it was staring into my soul. Then I noticed, the name was changed to Formidable Face. Formidable? I thought to myself. Doesn't that mean scary? Then I saw the description, it said, don't mess with him. Or he'll bring out his formidable face. I quickly took a screenshot of it and right when I was about to send it to my friends, I remembered that they were probably sleeping and I didn't want to wake them. But then I started getting dizzy. It was like the face was trying to suck me inside my PC screen. I started hearing whispers saying, Don't mess with him. Or he will bring out his formidable face. I quickly looked away from my PC screen and didn't look back. I shut my door and ran into my living room frightened. When I was in my living room, my mom was walking to put my laundry in my drawer but right before she opened my door, I shouted. Wait mom, don't go in my room. Why? She said confusedly. Be because that there's something in there that you don't want to see. I replied. She gave me that look saying. I'm concerned, but also curious. Oh shoot. I blew it. She then opened my door and walked inside. After a couple seconds, it sounded like it was fine until I heard a scream. A very loud scream. I rushed into the room finding my one lying on the floor. I then looked at my PC screen and saw my Roblox avatar with the formidable face looking right at me. You're a clever one, are you? You realize you made a big mistake? The voice sounded really clean but also sounded like a monster. I replied with, Who, who are you? Why are you here? It also seemed like the formidable face was moving in a human manner. Its big smile grew bigger and said, I will you to get what I always wanted. It started laughing. The laugh was a distorted high-pitched laugh. Almost like it was a robot. After that I started getting dizzy. But this time it was worse. My vision was very weird. I was lightheaded and couldn't really feel my body. I heard a whisper saying, You're also with a distorted voice. I screamed. No I'm not. 
I tried moving to my PC so I can shut it off but it wasn't easy. I started hearing voices in my head saying. You can't do it. Or like. You're gonna die. But that didn't stop me. I slowly walked towards my PC while my heart was beating faster and faster. Then after a few seconds, I hear one last voice in my head. You really think you can stop me? Pathetic. After that I fell to the ground. That moron left me crawling. I said in my head. Damn. I shouted. I quickly crawled under my PC to unplug it. And I succeeded. Completely after I unplugged it I heard screams. You bastard! You unplugged me! This is not over! I will come back! After everything that happened, it was over. Well at least to me it was. But to that ghost or spirit living in my PC, he was just getting started. I tried waking up my one but I just had to accept, she was dead. There was no point of calling the police. What? I mean if I said, oh, my one died because of my game that I played called Roblox. Yeah. They will think I'm insane. So instead, I called my dad. And through that, this story comes to an end. Thank you so much for reading this. Even though it was mildly disturbing. I will update until I can't anymore. Once again, my name is Aiden, I'm 14 years old, and see you, if there's an update. You might know what I have gone through the past few days. If you haven't, please read the first part on top. Hey guys it's me Aiden and it has been a few weeks since I've posted here. Things have been going pretty bad at my dad's house. That's really the first reason why I'm posting this. First of all, my friends hasn't been online lately and I'm starting to get worried. They have been offline since the whole formidable face incident. I'm really thinking something bad happened to them because I haven't heard from them in real life either. Some other stuff that's been happening is that my dad is in bad condition. He got told that he had brain cancer. Supposedly from my dad's doctor. That's not even it, apparently my PS4 broke because it was overheating. Now I'm starting to think that spirit gave me bad luck. But besides that, I had found some stuff to share with you guys. I was afraid to go back to Roblox. If I was just being in the website just for 5 seconds and leaving, I would feel uncomfortable. But I couldn't hesitate it, I just wanted to see it. I know, I'm curious. But making this choice led me to lots of information of a backstory. Well not really a backstory. I just really didn't understand it. I have a laptop now so I didn't have my Roblox account saved on it. Anyways I went to the Roblox website and typed in my username and password. The second I put that last letter on my password, I knew I was gonna go through a lot. But all of the stuff that Demon has done to my family and friends needs to stop. I was basically ready to face it again. That's what I'm trying to say here. So as soon I click log in. I closed my eyes. Nothing happened. Silence. I opened my eyes to see that nothing was wrong. I wasn't dizzy, or nothing. But I didn't get too excited, since I knew something bad was gonna happen somehow. I looked at my avatar and saw that my skin color was red. I looked into my profile page and my description has been stated, face. That demon infected my avatar as well? I thought. But it took two seconds to realize that the eyes were blinking. The literal default smiley face was blinking and looking straight at me. It was in the 3D view so it was a little well, animated. I tried exiting the tab until I got an error message saying, you can't escape. I kept trying to exit the tab but it still came up with the same error message again and again. I then heard the voice of my avatar. But the voice was more odd this time. Yes, it was still the monster voice but more distorted and glitchy. It said. Look what you have done to me. This is what happens when I change victims. I replied with, what do you mean victims? Wasn't I your only victim? I said. He replied with an even more broken voice. No, you are not the only one. The reason I came back to you is because I want to kill you. What the hell? You traumatized other kids? I said. Don't get so surprised. It will all make sense when you're in hell. He replied. I couldn't breathe afterwards. It wasn't like my computer. I couldn't unplug my laptop. It was a freaking mini computer. 
The only thing he wanted was my body. He wanted to possess me. The only thing he wanted to do was escape from his little trap. Now I don't know how he even got stuck into Roblox's system, but damn. He treated me like a freaking peasant about to die. I couldn't move or breathe. I thought to myself, my dad was at the hospital dealing with cancer. And my friends are probably dead. My one died. And I wasn't gonna die like it was nothing. I wiggled out of my bed to crawl to my kitchen and get some sort of weapon. My plan was to destroy my laptop. But that spirit didn't let me. He said. Oh, gonna crawl like a little baby. Maybe I should put out my distressing face for you. I started hearing whispering saying the same stuff as last time. You're gonna die. Or... Don't do it. Right when I reached the door for my room I tried opening the door but I was crawling like last time. I struggled trying to reach the doorknob. I whispered to myself. I need to escape to get a weapon from the kitchen. And I think that the spirit heard that and said. Are you trying to get a weapon little one? Why don't I grab one for you? He picked out a knife and stabbed me from my leg. I was hopeless. I just had to accept my death because of this game named Roblox and a stupid spirit. I passed out. Now I have no idea what happened. I just remembered seeing a light and then boom. My vision went black. I woke up on my bedroom floor like before, but there was police officers surrounding me. I told them what happened. They said. Your neighbor told us that there was something going on here. I was confused. How would my neighbor know that I was literally about to die? I have no idea. But the thing I was more worried about was the spirit and my laptop. I told them what happened to my laptop, and they said that they need to investigate it. You know, now that I think about it, I'm happy that they took my laptop with them. It was unexpected and shocking but hey, I wanted that Roblox bullcrap to end anyways. Once again, my name is Aiden, and I'll see you if there's any update. I hope not. I can't stop thinking about what happened in the last two months. I know this may seem old, but this is only my third update about this. There has been a lot of fear and sadness of what I've gone through. The cops knocked on my door one day and I asked, What's wrong? We came here to inform you that we cleared your data out of your laptop and gave it new parts. We might recycle it and put it on sale. We will give you a new laptop. They replied, Oh, this should just be a misunderstanding, right? I said frightenedly. No. Is there anything wrong with what we just said? They replied twice. Nah nothing is wrong about that sir sir. I said. I shut the door without letting them respond back. I loosely sat on the ground thinking to myself. Why? Why sell it when that laptop was obviously possessed? I was angry. I punched my door behind me while I was sitting down. I was crying and saying to myself. Well, what if someone has to go through what I've gone through? I calmed down and let out a sigh. I went to my bed and rested. But I found myself sleeping after 20 minutes. But I dreamed about something well, weird. From what I remember, I was walking in a dark void and I didn't know where I was going but then, I heard a voice. Well you can say a little girl's voice. Mommy? Daddy? Said the voice echoing in the darkness. I walked towards the voice but something was off, it felt like I was inside a Roblox game somehow. I looked at myself and it was my avatar that I made. I could probably tell I was dreaming at that point. Lucid dreaming, suddenly, I heard the girl crying and I followed the noise. I found myself finding that girl sitting down. I said, are you okay? She looked at me with a sad face. She had a white dress with blood coated on it. She also had brown curly hair with a pink bow tie on top. She replied with, I am not okay. My mommy and daddy left me, and there's someone bullying me. Now I'm confused. She's in the same situation as me. First of all, she's stuck in a void like I am, and secondly there's nobody in that void, besides me. I'm not sure, but I replied. Bully? There's no one here though. She moves her head downwards and says, that someone happens to be you. She quickly raised her head with the formidable face. She starts standing and making noises at me. What? Ha ha why? 
Why are you doing this to me? What did I ever do to you? I scream out. Remember? It's your body. She said with a terrifying voice. She started chasing me. Now I didn't know where to go or what to do. It's a dream. My eyesight started getting weird. It started getting glitchy like a TV static. I heard whispers again. The whispers said. Run. She's getting closer. Hide. Over those whispers, I heard screaming behind me. It was her. She was getting closer. I found myself running in an endless loop. I can't wake up. I started getting cold. I felt like my heart was falling. Until, I fr- Why can't I move? What's happening? Mommy? Daddy? I'm sad. Why am I still a lonely spirit? Why haven't I found a body yet? To take as my own? No. This is wrong. Why am I ruining people's lives just because I can't get what I want? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything that I've done. Aiden. Do you forgive me? Aiden. I... I'm sorry, sweetie. I'll fix your life's problems. I'll fix everything I've done. What? What about me? Why do you care about me? Aiden. I know. I'll be better off in another person's laptop. Don't worry about me, Aiden. I fixed everything in your life. Go enjoy it. Farewell, Aiden.